Hi, Angela Jacobson, also known as Super Nanny. After 15 years of travelling the world, working with a whole range of families, I'm coming home to be Australia's own Super Nanny. After travelling the world looking after celebrity children, Angela Jacobson knows a thing or two about raising kids. Angela Jacobson went from Melbourne to Madonna. The nanny spent 18 months working with the material girl looking after her adopted son, David Bander. Nanny to the rich and famous, Angela Jacobson says a healthy mum is a happy mum. When you're feeling fit, you're feeling a lot better, you've got more energy for with your children as well. Bianca, I'm looking at your fridge and you don't have a planner. No, I don't. Do you have a diary? No, I don't either. Okay, you need to get both and you need to factor in the children's activities as well as some time for yourself. I found it much more difficult with just a security presence and what have you. Um, I still, I, I did my job the same as I would do for anybody, but there was definitely a lot more pressure and um, I definitely prefer to work for, with non-famous people. How did you become a nanny to, to David and what was that first meeting like with Madonna? Uh, I was headhunted through an agency, uh, actually an Australian agency, and I happened to be in London at the time, so it worked out nicely. And I went through the interviewing process, as you do, mm -hmm. incredibly intimidating interview with Madonna. Okay, well you can find an extra five minutes in the morning by getting the bags ready the night before. You can put their lunchbox and drink bottle and hat and things like this in there. And you can even put the bags in the car the night before. But turn the publicity into nanny fame. Now she's forging a new career. She's running her own nanny recruitment agency and has just published her second book, offering parenting advice. Do you work for a lot of high-profile high people or is this like the biggest thing you've ever done? Madonna's the biggest I've ever done. Uh, I have worked for another Hollywood movie producer and some tennis players and a few other... And a lord? Yes. Correct. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, so what was that like? Well, that must have been quite formal, I imagine. Not really. Uh, it's quite old school English. He'd sort of you know, inherited the properties and what have you. I started off working in childcare in Australia and then became a nanny in London and it sort of snowballed from there. I think most of the women that employ me have high standards because obviously they're, I'm like a replacement mother at this level so of course they want you to be similar to them in their parenting. But you're also on the set of the, of, uh, the uh, film clip with Justin Timberlake, is mm -hmm. that right? Four minutes. Four that minutes. Was also another incredible experience, hanging with Timberland and Timberlake. Timberland and Timberlake. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, what was the best part of uh, looking after Madonna's little son? I um, have to be teaching him to follow Hawthorne Football Club. <laughs> really? So he's yeah. got a, he got a bit of a background in Aussie rules. He did. He did. I taught him, and he loved Buddy. And what was the hardest part? Do you think? Leaving him. It's always the hardest part of my job, leaving the children. 15 years you've worked with children and you've made, you just released your second book. So this one's all about baby food. Um, what tips yes. do you have for parents on this? Um, I think, uh, you know, if you can make your own food, obviously it's the best way forward. And just being careful with the portion sizes. Babies are going to eat and eat and eat if you let them. But obviously if you can stick to the right, correct portion sizes, um, you'll help your baby long term. What are the tips that you would give to us as someone who's, who's been in this position? Um, I always say, I mean, discipline's a big key and, and being the boss, I guess, is... I imagine Madonna's a pretty disciplined character. <laughs> yes, you need to be to get to where she is. So, um... I think that, yeah, as long as you stay lighthearted, but also be the boss of your children, make sure you instill discipline, mm -hmm. not to the smacking not level. Not to the right, yes. Yeah. Well, what I'm about to say, there's this whole smacking debate that's going on with 60 Minutes last night. Uh, is Madonna a naughty stepper or a smacker? No, neither. She's oh. neither. That's why she has nannies. I get it. <laughs> Wildest or strangest moment, I guess, was having to dance in a sari for a king and queen in, in India. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Gee, I never knew that was on the list for nannies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wearing a pink sari too. So um, yeah, it was pink. quite an experience. Right. <laughs> I have a business called Angela's Answers. Um, you can contact me and I will help you get a job with people like that overseas. Wow. I'll just give you my number. Wow. <laughs> Out of here. All right. Any child's difficult to work with, um, you know, but it's, it's rewarding as well. Was it at all daunting when you, you started working for Madonna? Oh, incredibly daunting. I don't think I slept for the two nights before the interview. But she sort of, you know, made my mind at ease when I met her. She was very down to earth and made everything a lot easier. If you or your family would like to be part of the new Australian Super Nanny TV show, please get in touch and we'll organise an audition.